Treble. He's looking to do the same here in Gibraltar this year. And he goes up against the hero, the man from Stourbridge in the West Midlands, Nick Fulwell, who's won the ball. I did uh, just put that out on social media just to alert my dozens of followers on social media. And immediately, Anthony Lopez, the Gibraltar player that Fulwell beat in the first round, said, that's seven out of eight doubles he's hit this weekend. Shame the other six are against me. Because his finishing was superb like against Hot Fuzz in the opening first. round. Game on. Yeah, six from seven. A uh, checkout percentage of 85.71 in that 6-2 win over Anthony Lopez. He'll need something similar here. He'll need to make the most of any opportunities 100. that come his way if he's to stand any chance against the world number one. Maybe could do with taking some inspiration from the likes of René Aydin. 140! Caused Van Gogh and a whole host of problems in Munich last time out. Right, that is ridiculous from Van Gogh in there. He's thrown one in the treble 20, one has caught the wire and he's hanging on by a thread and he's had a look at it, just had a pause and gone, I'll knock that out if I, uh, if I hit that dart there. So to save myself 20 points, instead of switching down the board, I'll just throw it at the other side of the 60. treble 20 and in it goes. The man is, he can do whatever he wants with those darts in his hand. Well, his record in 2016 123. suggests that's exactly the case. Ten European Tour titles to his name after that success in Munich at the uh, Easter weekend, over the course of the Easter weekend. 96. Five of them last year. Oh, has edged ahead in this leg on his own throw, and that's a great-looking dart. And again, don't bust it, Nick. 18 will do. Yeah, how about this? 13 darts are coming in. The 46-year-old from the West Midlands. And has been said many times before, in a sporting contest, any outcome, no matter how unlikely, is possible. Tops. Double ten. And that's the first leg in 15 dots with the world number one not even in the frame for it. Well, we said Fulwell had to make the most of the opportunities when they come their way. He missed with his first two attempts, but made it with the third. And Fulwell wins the opening leg here. Well, they have met before, these two. They have, this year. Five occasions in total. Yeah, two of them fairly recently as well. Yeah, within three days of each other, and actually, the UK, the UK Open, Open qualifiers. qualifiers yeah. 140! 6-3 and 6-1, respectively, these scorelines in favour of Michael Van Gogh. And they also met in UK Open qualifiers in 2015 as well. Similar outcome, 6-2 to the Dutchman on that occasion. 100! 5-0, I made it in the headsets. Yep, 5-0, and on no occasion has Nick Fulwell got more than three legs. However, on every occasion, he's got at least one leg. Hmm. And he's got one here today as well. So that record remains intact. 140. Michael Van 127. Full well, but it looks like Michael Van Gerwen may well see this leg off. Bullseye. <laughs> oh, he just does the what he wants. 12 data for the world number one. The leg Nick to throw first. Game on. To remind Full well there who's boss, but one apiece. 100. Nick Fulwell will have been preparing for this match, knowing that, you know, he's got a chance. 45. But he wasn't going to go out there and win it 6-0. He knows if he's going to win it, it's probably going to be a close game, and he's going to have to weather a Van Gogh in storm at some point. 85. Take out shots under pressure. In 11 years playing darts, Nick Fulwell has Michael Van Gogh in. Flies in the first maximum of the match. In 11 years of playing PDC dart or darts in general, Nick Fulwell has won a grand total of 55 grand. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Michael Van Gerwen has won that in the last seven weeks. In fact, in Munich at the recent German Darts Masters, 96. back of a fag packet calculations, he was earning about 36 quid per dart he threw. When do we celebrate so well? <laughs> 45. May as well just shout, ka-ching. 
I heard as well that he's uh, currently undertaking 58. a big project property wise. He is. He's so when he lose, if he ever loses, or when he does lose at a final, like a European Tour final, as he did on a few occasions last year, you know, he sees that as fifteen thousand pounds lost rather than ten thousand pounds gained. Well, it probably just means that he doesn't have to solid the bathroom sink. Yeah, well, yeah, it'll be solid gold bath taps instead of diamond ones. But these things matter. Sixty-two. I mean, he's you made no secret of it. The incentive, the financial incentives, and the. <laughs> Goals are there. That's what he loves. I said I like winning, but I do like money. Look at this, though. Bullseye. Ooh. 87. Now then. Might be required 60. Well, missed opportunity for Fullwell. Will Van Gerwen make him pay? Tops he wants. Ooh, that's a long way off for MVG. 40. And that misses as well. So Fullwell has a Injury chance. Does he go straight 34. for this double 17 or does he go two double 16? Mm, well, I can't tell where he's looking. Yeah, it's the two. Oh, they're the sort of chances that you probably can't afford to miss. 20. And he wasn't missing them against Anthony Lopez, of course. 85% on his doubles. Van Gogh in double five. And he there it is. And it's 2-1 and a break of throw with Nick Fulwell. He's given himself leg, an even balls, bigger mountain to climb here. Game yeah, we've heard it said before about playing the board and not playing the man. And you feel that's evident to some extent at the moment 95. here. 95. Well, you know, Had he been up against Lopez, you know, yesterday that would have been taken out. I'm pretty sure about that. Yeah, maybe. I mean, dark players miss doubles. They do. You know, Michael 60. Van Gogh misses doubles. Phil Taylor, Gary Anderson, they do miss doubles. But unfortunately, when you play Michael Van Gogh, you can't afford to miss many of them. Not many at all as he fires in a second maximum. Was it a successful preparation? Oh, challenge? Panel? I, uh, we had uh, yeah, uh, a man on stage who won 250 quid for beating a man dressed as a large sausage. 98. By a single point. It was a nail biter. Wow. Oh, one happy punter. 60. Mark Lucroix, 128. Will he go for the bull again? Ooh, he did, he did. Not surprising, really. Hit it in the second leg for the 127. Can't repeat the trick for the 128, but he will be back looking at 25 for a 3 1 lead. Michael Van Gogh in Mervyn King awaits the winner of this one. The 16th seed who averaged 105 earlier on today and seeing off Christian Kist in a stunning display. And Michael Van Gogh in does go two legs clear in this one. Yeah, he's looking fairly unruffled here, untroubled, Michael Van Gogh in. Having lost the opening leg, he's won three on the spin now. 140! Just to put into context how good Michael Van Gerwen has been of late. Mervyn King has played immensely as Van Gerwen fires in a 180. It's number three in terms of maximums for the world number one. Yeah, Mervyn King was superb earlier on today, averaged 105. Michael Van Gerwen's overall 100. average in the Premier League this season over three months is 107 and there were world record 91. averages in there others in the hundred teens yeah it's terrifying what this man is doing because if you're a dart player you're sat here it's pretty pretty cool 41 just a 41 and he's doing, doing it in a week in week out basis it's ah, just well. doing it all That's the time 119. You do get chances to beat him, but, you know, it's one dart here and there. You know, and he's a ridiculous four European Tour event run. 140. Mark, you require 111. Kevin McEwen had to beat him in Munich and couldn't take it out. Kevin Painter played him here, I remember, in Gibraltar in the early Gave rounds. Gave him a very good run for his money. Well, yeah. I think Van Gogh averaged 92 in that game, and he still won. 80. Just keeps winning, even when he plays... You know, it's, it's almost like when people sleep. get to within touching distance of beating Van Gogh, and it's almost like they just feel this expectation and perhaps they buckle to some extent. Just the... Oh, yeah, yeah, for well. Six leg Michael to throw No Roper. buckling there. No. 139. But yeah, you're right. I mean, he has the fear factor around him now that Phil Taylor used to have. And to an extent, Phil Still does have it, but yeah. not, not, you know, Michael Van Gogh is, is the man. 100. What generates that fear factor is the fact that 
on a regular basis, he's going out there and throwing things that other players can't. 140. And haven't, have never done. And never have done, no. Even the greatest player of all time, and I believe Phil Taylor will always be the greatest player of all time, even he has not thrown some of the averages that Michael Van Gerwen has been throwing. 100. Not only the 1, 2, 3.4 in the Premier League, but he then threw another 118. Now, Phil Taylor's record was 118, and that's in 30 years of dance. 51. Do you think Van Gerwen will be playing into his 50s? That, like that's the big question. Players. Longevity is the only question mark over Van Gerwen. Because until 140. he does, it will be very difficult to make the comparisons. Exactly. Into, exactly. Into judge. I mean, I doubt he'll win 16 world titles. As honest. do I. As do I. But I tell you what, he could win a lot. He could win loads. I think he's set a target of 10. But Nick Fulwell set a target of 161 points here. And if this goes in, if this goes in... Oh, that's not far away. Unlucky. 89, Michael, Van Gerwen to re-establish a two-leg advantage. Topsy wants and Topsy gets it to 13. Darcy and Michael Van Gerwen. As you say, you get chances against him, but they're at 161. They're at 170, 167. That was famously said many times about Phil Taylor in his heyday, but that is what you get against Michael Van Gerwen nowadays. And there you go. It just illustrates why the fine margins and the narrow misses are really accentuated and magnified to a great extent when 60. you are playing in a best of 11 format like this when it's a very quick fire rat -a -tat -tat penalty shootout almost in terms of uh, the match and how it goes 100. yeah i mean the, the you know first to six is a a standard format in the pdc but it is a short format you know this is they, they, there are opportunities within games for momentum to swing and you can lose the lead and regain it and lose it again but Ultimately, it is a, a pretty short game of darts. It's a very short game of darts when Michael Van Gerwen gets going. I remember that final in Mulheim against Michael Smith. I think it was 11 minutes it lasted. Yeah. It was pretty spectacular. As have, that was one of the finals that Van Gerwen lost. Yeah, Michael Smith has beaten him twice in the final. Nick Fuller. Hang on a minute. Oh, Nick Fuller. He has not read the script here, Nick Fuller. And he's taking the fight to Michael Van Gerwen, but this is the sort of thing he does. Oh, that's just above the way. You had an ominous, ominous feeling that that was going, but Fuller has given himself a chance here. 15 tops, will it be? Yes, it is. Two goes at it as well. 35. Oh, it could well be I'm game over now. 5 2. Michael Van Gerwen is looking at here. And that's how you do it. Two darts at tops for Fulwell. Didn't take it out. Two darts at tops for Van Gerwen. And he leads 5-2. But there are a couple of legs here where Fulwell has had a couple of darts at double that he's missed. Now, you know, give him those two and take two off Michael Van Gerwen. We've got a very different game. But ifs and buts, isn't it? Michael Van Gerwen with a 99.9 .9 average and 113 on his first nine. And this is just his C game, if you like. If you think that that Premier League average of 107 is what he's normally, you know, his average game, maybe a, a bit less than that because it is tracked up by some ridiculously high averages. When he's on top form, you've seen what he's done, 120, 110. He was nearly 130 plus in that 1, 2, 3.4 game. Yeah, those missed double 18s, wasn't it? Dragging 140. Down. But Nick Fulwell is putting Michael Van Gerwen through his paces here. He is keeping him honest. 57. He's not having a little stroll through to the last 16 in the final yeah, day. Yeah, I suspect action. Van Gogh will see this as a good workout, perhaps the sort of match that he would have wanted. 135. Just one or two questions being asked of him. Oh, under pressure here on his own throw. But every time you put him under pressure, he responds. That's the thing. Look at that. And he has one poor guy. doesn't bother him. He just gets on chucking another in the 60. And he has a habit of winning games with big checkouts. He's been doing it quite a lot over the last few months. Easy fire. And I wouldn't Michael bet against this 1-4-3 going for a 6-2 no, victory. A, I've got a feeling he might pull this one off as well. Oh, no, uh, not with 21 scored. On I'll stick one in the ball. 87. Yeah. Nick, you require 100. Now, Nick Fulwell for 5-3 and a breaker throw. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's a 15 scored. It'll be trouble 15 for top. I would think. Yeah. And that might be that. Nick Fulwell has battled gamely here. Michael, but Michael Van Gerwen is going to get two match darts. 16 for double top. That's the easy bit done. And double 10. 
Oh, now there, Nick Fullwell. Nick, you require 55. Mm, I didn't like that. The uh, agony goes on. Tops he wants this time. And and leg. Had he Nick done that four. in the last leg, it, again, it may well have been a very different story. But Ninth leg, Nick to throw first. On we go. Game on. And if he can hold here for 5-4, might just put Van Gerwen under more pressure. But like you say, Danny, he just thrives on that 14. sort of situation, doesn't he? Well, I mean, the, the, the most... He, he's done it so many times, and he's done it in on the biggest stages as well. I mean, the European Championship finally played 16. Gary Anderson. He was trailing all the way through it. And he just turned it on. He won the last three or four legs to win by one leg. And one that is a 180 from Nick Thorwell. And he's not going quietly. It is a heroic performance from the man nicknamed the hero. 60. A roll of the eyes there from Van Gerwen as he made his way to the board. 100 the deficit here, plus these. Do with a treble. Just do consolidate 100. that 180. Ninety-six. Mm. Still a healthy advantage. Nick Fullwell looking pretty good for this leg. Oh, looking marvellous for this leg. One hundred and thirty-four. Still get two dots. It's a, a double of his choice when he returns for five-four. I, I don't know if it wraps around his head. You know, I, I could have won two legs. I lost it. It have been six legs. I know it doesn't work like that. You know, the game would be very different had he won one of those legs, you can imagine. But double toppy once. Oh, now then, double 15. Oh. 17. My view call, 100. Now then, another chance for Michael Van Gogh to finish it in style. Trouble 20, trouble 20, double 16. Oh. Oh, <laughs> he's done it again. He's absolutely plumbed that first one, wasn't 30. it, as well? That was the thing. Now, straight to the double 15, or is it 10 double 10? Or just one out the board? Oh, my word, that's close. Oh, that's so close. Cool. That's one. for Nick Fulwell Michael and Michael Van Gerwen. Three darts at double six for a 6-3 win, and the world number one to book his place in the final day of action. Double three, then. Oh, he's missed inside. Well, I never. He bust this, is it? I see him, yeah. He's gone for a double one. Ten. Nick requires oh, yeah. 30. Will he go 10 double 10 this time? No, he won't. He's going for the 15s once more. And that's the danger. 18. I don't think Michael he thought he was coming back to the two. board and maybe he wasn't mentally prepared. And there's a little smirk there from Michael Van Gerwen as he looks to close this house on Madhouse. No score. What is going on? Nick 20, requires 21 12. plus some to come maybe. Dark leg for Van Gerwen. Double six. He's there he is. Nine flag. Nick Ford. Uh, how many people have beaten Van Gogh? Ten flag. Michael Well, I think this Game may on. just be the intensity level dropping, and he's just taking his eye off the ball. But what he's very good at is just turning it on again. It's like flicking a switch. And it would not surprise me if he goes and smashes in one one eighty, one forty, and then sees off a finish and 60. closes it out in twelve darts. But if he doesn't, he's got problems because it's 5-4 and this is a lot closer than it might have been. If he can just hang on to the coattails here, and if the opportunity presents itself, then who knows? We could be on course for something here. Could it happen? Could we be going to a deciding left? 100. It's one that Nick Fulwell would have to throw, and he won the ball, remember? Van Gerwen is down to a finish. Nick Fulwell needs two troubles to get to one himself. Not going to get that. 60. Michael mm, Hall, 161. Bit of a window here now. Safety blanket. Of but hang on. Ooh, no, well, he'll stay on the 18. Oh, no, he won't. 100. So full well needs something big to apply some pressure here. He's been missing a few doubles of late, Michael 55. Van Gerwen. 55 is not 61. enough, so it looks like it's going to be a stroll to 6-4 for MVG. Double 18 he wants and double 18 he gets. And the, match, and the last Michael two legs were a little bit scrappy and a little bit messy, but he was made to work for that. That's the closest that Nick Fullwell has got to MVG, a 6-4 defeat.
It is a sixth defeat in a row to the world number one. No shame for Paul Weldow in making it here to the European Tour and making it through to the second round. Michael Van Gerwen marches on, though, in his dream of collecting a third consecutive Gibraltar Darts trophy. He's still alive. And what a game we will have between him and Mervyn King tomorrow in the last 16 as they fight it out for a place in the quarterfinals. We've got three.